waited <laughs> this long for nothing. This is no, no, ma'am. We're not trying this. Look at this. It stinks like throw up. No, no. I can't even respond to that. I'm just gonna let that one fly right on over. I'm gonna let that one fly. I got the goods. So I'm trying to be careful and not show my address, but Kim kind of beat up. I'm a little bit worried about this. So here's my bottle. Um, the first thing I notice is it's super watery, like people said it is. Um, the label, yep, glitter glue. This one actually does have a expiration date on it. And it looks like I probably got the batch that doesn't have the wrong serving sizes. Let's see. So I pulled out the bottle and I opened it up and I had to stick my finger inside of it. But there is a piece of glitter inside the bottle. I don't know if it came from the label because if you look here, there is glitter all over the label. Just like people say it's stuck on with glitter glue. So, is it edible glitter? Am I going to die? Is it safe? And you can see like all these pieces in there. I don't think there's any other glitter in there that I can see until it hits the side of the bottle. But my bottle, again, is missing the front label. I don't know where it is, if she took it off, but everyone else seemed to have a front label. Mine doesn't have anything. But the lab did get everything and they should start testing tomorrow morning. I am not here to tear anybody down or talk negatively. You haven't heard me talk negative about the creator of the product once in a bad light. I'm here as kind of a middleman for everybody because everybody wants to know what's to come of this. And as I've said, results may vary. What happens to my bottle could not be what happens to yours. It's all different. Okay, we have to put it in, like we have to stop all of these orders, contact each and every customer. We contacted everyone directly, meaning single emails. Um, so I understand like if it does have dairy in it, you see all these concerns. You saw my TikTok. I follow you. You have my address, my phone number, my email. Nothing you're, was fabricated. To be honest, you're not special. You're not special, okay. okay? So why should I lose my mind and approach you directly when you're fabricating something on the internet? I saw Atozi's video on Chef P. She was on a talk show meeting one of her customers who posted a review on TikTok. If you don't know who Chef P is, she is the person that came up with the whole pink sauce situation and was offering to sell it for about $20 uh, plus shipping around the U.S. Uh, mind you, uh, $20 is about um, 260 in my currency, like... My groceries probably cost about half with every trip. You get what I mean? So like any small business, it was pretty expensive to make and ship across the country. I, I don't know, across the state slash country. I'm not sure what the situation was. Needless to say, the sauce didn't have any preservatives in it. So it was bound to go bad um in the process it didn't have any you know any dry ice or anything like that so it 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 was kind of busted by the time it reached the consumer some people were able to get it while it was still fresh and um they liked it some people allegedly said it tasted like ranch ranch dressing uh, it, it seemed like she just threw in some food coloring or she actually used like dragon fruit and all of the the ingredients that were listed on there. Um, which food theory was able to recreate um, in their pink sauce video. Um, and which, that's crazy to me because imagine... Imagine on the one hand, you can pay $20 plus shipping for a sauce when you can make it at home. Um, 
but I guess people wanted to support in a small independent business, which I can understand. Um, but her reaction to the reviews, and I know some of them were pretty harsh. Like, you know what I mean? Imagine you just spent like 20 bucks on the sauce and it, you know, you don't get any refunds whatsoever. So it kind of fueled those people to be upset upon the arrival of the product. So she, you know, one of these people... Uh, sent the product for testing because I I stumbled upon somebody who said that if the bottle is like expanding or something like that that means it's going bad and there's plenty of bacteria in that product so you're not supposed to consume it so she sent it for testing and upon seeing that it was you know a, a customer has sent this product independently for testing she called her out onto a show and confronted her and claimed that it's people like this that cause her to get doxxed and attacked and cause her business to fall and even though I agree that there are some people that are out to just get you for no reason people will do things for crazy reasons these days um, but this product was just bound to fail by, you know, by, like, from the jump. You know what I mean? Um, I'm no food expert or anything like that, but you kind of have to fix every mistake, refund people if they're not happy with the product, if it's already beat up by the time they get it. Um, you have to fix things going forward. You cannot just say, well, you paid for it, and so... It, it's upon you when you're not even licensed to 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 sell this product you you know what I mean like why if you want people to support you and I'm saying this loosely like I've seen youtuber merchandise that I wouldn't buy some I would buy um just you know what I mean if you want people to support you you kind of have to go with what they want here you have to kind of have to go with the standards of um you know just general trading like you cannot sell a a faulty product and then blame somebody when they discover glitter in the bottle when the thing has already gone bad and they can barely um do anything with it that's just twenty dollars down the toilet like come on dude you cannot be sitting here talking about well you're not special um you know you're trying to tear me down when somebody actually spent money to try it in order to advertise it forward if it's good you get good um free advertising for free well Yes, I already said that, <laughs> but, you know, it's unfair because the, the audience is now clapping for this person who's pushing the responsibility onto somebody that had, you know, like, on her part, she was, you know, I, I think it's crazy to just pay for a product that is not, that has not been perfected yet. You kind of have to do your research, you kind of have to wait for other people to tell you if it's safe or not, if it's if all the legal things are out of the way and if it's good enough for you to consume it because you can literally die if something goes wrong. Well, not die, but, you know, that's the worst case scenario. But, yeah, uh, hey, but you cannot, as a, um, as a, a seller or a business woman, push the responsibility on people that chose to give you money in order to support you so you can continue doing what you do for you get what I mean so yeah thoughts in the comments please